Hello guys, welcome to the channel. I'm sorry for not being responsive in last one year. This was because I was busy in my PhD and now uh, it is successfully finished. So during uh, my PhD, I wrote some of my publications. So while writing publications, I encountered with a problem that is how to find the corresponding legendary coefficient of a shape. I worked in Doppler breakup, so I am interested in finding the various legendary coefficient of a shape or of a drop shape. Since the problem is very long and it, it involves several steps, I have decided to cut this problem into three easy videos. So the first part of the video contains the information of how to extract the boundary of a drop shape or outline of a drop shape. The second video will be on the manually finding out the various legendary coefficients and the third part will be on automatic fitting method. Alright, so let's start. So this is image J. Alright. So we will first we will do what? Uh, open a video. Video can be opened by clicking on the file icon and and just click on open then go to the folder and just simply select or I'll tell you an easy method that is simply um, hold the video and drag and drop okay it's, it's it's written here drag and drop simply drag and drop so this is a high speed high speed video which contains and here yeah click on convert to the grayscale so this video contains the deformation dynamic and and yes break up so let's move it to the center all right so i'm moving it to the center now this is the video as you can see uh, how the droplet is oscillating uh, see how it is it is it's a say how it's a center of mass is moving upward and downward as you can see and later it will go into downward direction you see now it is coming back in the downward direction and along with simultaneously it is deforming and finally when deformation reaches to a critical point it breaks by forming a jet and relaxes back to its spherical shape now suppose we are interested in finding out the drop outline of a drop shape corresponding to frame number 852 all right 852 i'm just selecting 852 you could select something else so this is the drop you want to find out its boundary all right so what we can do is just duplicate first duplicate the, uh, this uh, particular frame so duplicate particular frame just go to image and click on duplicate in the drop down menu select that duplicate and since we do not want to duplicate whole video we will not check this box we want to duplicate particular frame which is uh, which corresponds to 28.4 seconds all right just click okay so now let's move it to the center again all right we'll try another way now it's moved to the center okay now in the second step you can see uh, let, let's let's do uh, we have two options we can do i'm just uh, making the video a little bit little bit elaborative so that so that you can shoot another problem all right so let's adjust it threshold so let's go to threshold now you can see the image is converted into absolutely black and white is background converted into the white there are several methods for example default and wong intermodes ISO data, Li ISO data. So you can select any any of the thresholding method depending on how the thresholding looks. You can see, for example, in intermediate modes, as you can see, uh, 
uh, the, the surface is, seems to be a little more uniform and let's go to ISO data so ISO data seems to be same as uh, ISO uh, IG ISO data seems to be similar as ISO data let's go to Lee method uh, it reduced the boundary separately we will not go through it let's go to max entry oh my god it has this hard level of noise all right so I, I'm, I'm randomly choosing as of now ISO data you can you can choose any of any of the method and, and depending on your situation I'm choosing ISO data all right just just click auto all right now close this window again you find the hole at the center all right now we want to fill the hole so filling the hole go to the process from the drop down menu go to the binary in the binary you will find a fill hole all right hole now you can see the hole is filled all right so now we have filled the hole now we are interested in finding out the outline so we, uh, let's crop it okay uh, in, the, in the desired box let's crop it so the cropping first we have to select a rectangular from here select a rectangular uh, section a uh, rectangular choice and this and, and this keep the image into rectangular section and then go to image and simply press crop now you can see this crop we are interested in the boundary or outline of the crop so simply go to the process from the drop down menu go to the binary and from here go to outline just click on outline you can get the outline right now you got the outline but you are interested in finding out the coordinates of the shape so to obtain the coordinates of the shape go to analysis and from the drop down menu go to tools and still from the drop down menu go to the shape go to the shape x y coordinates and click on this all right so we'll keep the background value zero and uh, we will not invert the coordinates and simply click ok now you can you can you, you, you can just rename s h a p e y y x data all right suppose we'll save it like this huh? one all right then click save you can see uh, the file is saved as shape y x now you can further uh, plot it for example just copy it control c all right copy it and and open uh, excel suppose i'm opening excel all right now open here is excel i'll keep it the data i don't need this grayscale value so i'll delete this column and simply select column go to insert and go to scatter data just plot it you can see this is your desired rock shape right which is same as uh, this all right all right thank you for having your patience and uh, all, all your attention if, if you find it it's uh, helpful please like the video and subscribe the channel maybe you can post your comment if you have any query uh, thank you so much once again all right, see you another day.